Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part 30 of my algebra video tutorial series. We are entering the final part of this whole entire gigantic tutorial series, and what we're going to be talking about in the next couple videos is conic sections. So you may say to yourself, well, what is a conic section? Well, a conic section is simply a slice through a cone, and whenever you perform this action, you are going to get either circles or ellipses. Over here we see that we have a parabola and then finally we have what are called hyperbolas. And what we will be doing is using a series of equations to graph these conic sections on the coordinate plane. So we're going to have things like circles and we're going to have ellipses and we're going to have parabolas and also we will have hyperbolas. And throughout the next couple of videos, I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of tricks to create them. But I'm gonna start off simple this time and talk about circles. Okay, so let's say that we have a point at one five and another point at negative two one. And what we wanna do is find the distance between these points. So what we would need to do to do this is to find out this distance right here, the height, which is going to end up being five minus one, which is equal to four, and this distance right here, which is going to end up being one minus negative two or three. And basically what we're going to use is the Pythagorean theorem as a guide and the Pythagorean theorem, of course, is going to be a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And in that situation, this is the c part, this is the a part, and this is the b part. And we're specifically going to use this formula. Distance is equal to x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and then, of course, find that square root. So this, of course, is going to end up being exactly what I just showed you on the right, but I'm gonna put it in the proper form. So it's gonna be five minus one squared plus one minus negative two squared, and then we'll find that square root, which is going to end up being 16 plus nine which of course is going to be equal to the square root of 25 or simply five. You're also going to be able to find the midpoint of these two points. So we're talking about a point that is going to lie somewhere in this area. And how we're gonna find that is we're gonna have x1 plus x2 divided by two and y2 and y1 plus y2, also divided by two, which is going to bend up being negative two plus one over two, and one plus five over two, to get a final midpoint of negative one half and three. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna work out a couple plots here. Now let's say that we have a circle and its center point is known to be at two, four, and say that we also have two additional points being negative three and four, as well as seven and four. Well, we're going to be able to calculate our diameter for our circle and also then get the radius. So this is going to be diameter in this situation. This is going to work out to be seven minus negative three, and this is going to be squared plus four minus four squared. We will then take the square root of that, which is going to end up being equal to 10 squared square root, which of course they cancel each other out, and you would get a final diameter of 10. And then to calculate our radius, you would get a 10 over two or just simply five. And of course we could easily plot this. We know our center point because it's right here. 
So that's going to be two and four. So there is our center point and we know our radius, which is going to be equal to five. So that's going to put a point out here, a point over here, a point up here at nine, a point down here at negative one. And then we could just come in here and the best that I can, I will draw in our circle. And there you go is a rough estimate of what that circle would look like. Now, of course, we do not need all of those points to be able to plot a circle. And this is the basic formula for a circle. If you have a center point of H and K with a radius R, then your formula is going to be X minus H squared plus Y minus K squared is equal to r squared and let's say you have a central center point for your circle and you know that it is one two and you also know that you could mark this as center and you also know that there is an additional point at five two well to calculate our radius once again it's going to be radius this time this is going to work out to be five minus one squared plus two minus two squared. Take the square root of that, which of course is going to end up being equal to four squared square root, which just cancels out to be four. So now we know our radius is four. We can then take our formula, which is this guy right here, and we can plug in our center points as well as our radius. So I'm just gonna write this up here, the radius is equal to four. So this is going to do change and our center point, we'll just write this as center, is equal to one, two. This then becomes X minus one squared plus Y minus two squared, which is equal to four squared. And then we could do interesting things like, let's say we tried to find the X intercept. So the points in which our circle would hit the x-axis or something like that. Why don't we just go and plot this and then I'll show you how to do that. So we know we're at one, two, so one, two right here. And we know our radius is four. So we'll have a point up here, a point over here, 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 and then come in and draw in our circle. And that's a little rough, but it should be close. And then let's say that we would want to find our x-intercept. Well, to do so, all we need to do is plug in zero where we have y with this formula we have right here. So this is going to end up being X minus one squared plus zero minus two squared. You can see I put the zero right there. Like I said, I was going to for Y is equal to 16. Of course that comes from right there. And this is going to simplify down to be X minus one squared plus four is equal to 16. And then this is going to be translated into X minus one squared is equal to 12 whenever we subtract four from both time, both sides. And that is going to end up being equal to X minus one is equal to the square root of 12, which is going, the square root of 12 is going to end up becoming the square root of four times three, which is gonna end up being equal to, if we take the square root of just four, then we'll get two, leaving three behind. And that means that finally, X is going to have a value of plus or minus two square root of three plus one. And then that works out to being an X one equal to negative Two, this is an approximate value, 2.46, and X2 is going to have a approximate value of 4.46. And if we come in here and actually look, does this look like about 4.46 right here? It's doggone close. And does this look approximately like negative two and a half? Yep, very close. And that's the circles off a little bit. All right. So there is an introduction to conic sections and more specifically just graphing circles because we haven't covered that and I wanted to cover a whole bunch of other formulas in relation to working with circles. And in the next video, I'm going to cover parabolas. And like always, please leave your questions and comments down below. Otherwise, till next time.